Ooh, I got I cast a spell. I cast magic missile. One D six. Oh. And that's it. Cause of death, mage. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome to Hyper Gun! I've been digging these like, top-down roguelikes and such, but this is a first-person roguelike shooter, which is pretty cool. You get uh, a Hyper Gun, and then you can put different attachments on your Hyper Gun, and it changes it in varied ways. Basically, some attachments are good, some are bad. I mean, they're all good, but some do have downsides. So, you can go over here, unlockable attachments, oh my god, plus accuracy, plus fire rate, minus velocity, uh, plus 15 movement speed, jump height, wow, that seems pretty cool. But, uh, I have 13 coins right now, I'm trying to save up for another class. This is the simulation chamber over here. They got lunchrooms, offices, weapon gallery, there's also a lot of, uh, little notes and things that you can find. They have a lot of uh, office politics and things going on in this game, so there's a sort of a deep narrative. Hey, look, there's statistics. Look at all my st statistics on the board. Dang, oh. Attachments discovered, attachments found. Most attachments per run was four. That's not very good. Um, I played one hour, so a little bit of practice with the intern, but I haven't unlocked security lawyer or HR because they are 50 coins each, which is hefty. Security seems pretty cool. He's got, like, extra health. He's got a rifle instead of a little submachine gun shit. And then they have uh, different abilities. Receive 90% less damage for 3 seconds. Maximum inc damage increases when HP goes down to a maximum of 25% bonus damage. Double your speed, but receive 100% more damage for 3 seconds. That's pretty interesting. Uh, throw an ice bomb that freezes enemies. Freeze! Officer, security officer Dirk Smith. Right now we're playing Dewey Owens, though. He's the intern. He gets hot coffee. We could also probably unlock some stuff eventually. Ooh. Dang. I just have to save up a little bit more. Healthy donut balls, which attract nearby enemies occupying them for five seconds. Five seconds is a long fucking time. Uh, right now we've got movement speed increase, the hot coffee grenade, a little bit of a fire rate increase, and then invulnerability from be after being damaged is increased from 0.25 seconds to 0.75 seconds. That's really nice. Invulnerability increase? Ooh. If you unlock another class, I'm not sure how you're going to, to get over that. But yeah, we've also got the uh, human resources here. It takes less damage from melee. Because hands off, we're going to need to fire up that training video again. And she's got the sniper rifle. Then we've got the lawyer who's got a shotgun. That's pretty cool. And he's got restraining order. Extradite, blast a group of enemies. Mm -hmm. Rescind, 20% increased movement speed when moving backwards. Oh, that's nice. Create a banner at the current position for 15 seconds and gain a 15% damage bonus within the marked area. Interesting. I don't generally like staying in the same area, but maybe if I had a shotgun. Alright, so here we are. Simulation number 8. I guess we'll we'll just rock it. Want to play the tutorial level? Not, not really. Thanks anyways. <laughs> I don't... I feel bad saying never though. You know, I'm just like, no, not right now. Maybe later. Sherlock attachment. Accuracy up, fire rate down. That sucks. Alright, and here we are. Shit's gonna start coming out the portals. Look at them all! Look at them all! Oh my god! Alright, and there's lots of uh, snipery dudes. They set up their little shields and just open fire. So we've got to be careful of them. Let me get rid of these flyboys as well. Oh boy. Don't shoot me. I gotta go. Oh, and there's a big man. Big man on campus. Increase that fire rate. Blah, blah, blah. Nailed. Alright, so now all we have to do is get the big guy. Picking up some bits, which can be used to buy things later on. Oh, that looks pretty cool, too. What, what you got for me here? More bits? Awesome. Tig old bitties. Alright, so I'm just going to uh, try and take this guy down as quickly as possible. 
And there we go. Uh, now, I was having trouble finding doors at first, but if you look at the map on the on the bottom there, the lower left, it's pretty clearly marked where the doors are. So some you can go through, some are locked, but at least you'll be headed the right way if you're looking for a door. Oh, these fucking things. Melee critters. Basically got to keep moving because you don't know when these guys are going to come up behind you. They're kind of everywhere at once, in my experience. Blam, blam, blam. Alright. No problem. Got him, coach. Another nice thing is that uh, enemy shots... Enemies' bodies will block other enemies' shots, if that makes sense. So if you line up the snipers, you'll only need to dodge the damage from the very first one in that line. And of course, the big badass is the only one left. Able to take him down with that increased fire rate. Yeah, boy! And nothing seems to be left in this room, so we will move on. This is interesting. It's kind of just like a straight little, little hallway. And I burned him up with hot coffee. Hot coffee, baby! It's like that uh, Grand Theft Auto mod everybody talked about when we were little kids. You mean me? You mean me? God. The snipers are uh, pinching me pretty hard. Closing in on me. At least I got some goodies. And a carbon attachment. Accuracy up yet again. And my gun looks really cool now. If you, if you reskin your gun <laughs> with carbon, uh, then yeah, it increases accuracy. Everybody knows that. It's just like putting a, a hood vent on your, your Mustang. It's like, does that increase the, the horsepower or something? Hell yeah, it does. Everybody needs an air scoop or use a bitch. Oh, wow. That guy smacked me right in the face. Let's get some run speed. Run speed and fire rate. Get it in. All right, it seems like just the big guy and the snipers. So take down the snipers first, I would suggest. Blap, blap, blap. Done and done. And where the big boy? Oh boy. Hello, friend. How art thou? Oh, there's some flying dudes. Take them down. No problem. As long as you keep moving, everything is going to be just fine. I promise it. And now all we got is this fucking big dude again. Get out of the way of the rockets. You can shoot the rockets out of the air, but uh, it's better to just move, in my opinion. Oh, and there are snipers. What are you guys doing? You can't do that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm uh, hurting for certain. 38 health out of 100. So maybe we could find a shop or something. That door's locked. You can also buy keys and stuff like that. Here's the shop. Hey, medium health, seven bits. Key, five bits. Weapon mod, 10 bits. Ammo, don't need it. I would really like that health, so okay. We'll just me make a mental note of this for later. I could buy the key and see what's through that door, but the boss is never behind a locked door, so. We don't need to worry too much about that. Oops. I activated my, my Berserky a little early. Please leave me alone. I hit him with the hot coffee. Do do do. Oh, hypercoin. Always need my hypercoins. Alright, run. Quickly. Grab the thing. Is this accuracy helping? I think it is. I'm able to snipe the snipers relatively easy. Or if you don't have an accuracy mod, it uh, gets a little more difficult. There's another hyper coin, another bit. I need one more bit. Son of a bit! All right. I guess I could try and blow some of this stuff up. Hey there. Yeah, that's what I want. And I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the shop. Let's actually teleport there. Because we're awesome. So hold tab to bring up your map and then just click on a little teleporty and you're there. 
There's a med kit. Gave me about 50 health, so that's fine. That'll do. And here's the uh, the boss. Should we try and fight the boss? Should we try and get another weapon mod, something like that? Let's see what's over here real quick. Hmm. I want treasure. Treasure! Don't want to go in there without my plus velocity attachment. Because I unlocked the map or whatever, so it's like, hey, there's treasure over here. Alright. Cool, give me the treasure, teleport back to the boss. This game would probably be really good for speedrunning. It's, uh, got some twitchy deliciousness. Also, explosive barrels aren't, aren't going to hurt you, so... If you got, like, a bunch of those Reaper dudes coming up and, uh, biting your ass, just shoot an explosive barrel. You could blow yourself up just fine. No problem. And here comes Mr. Spheros. So, basically, you just gotta shoot these pieces. Shoot these little tiny pieces until they start coming off. And, uh, avoid the doom that this little, little thing's gonna shoot. There it is. Like I said, you can also shoot what he shoots at you, but uh, it's not as reliable. I wouldn't suggest it. There, I kind of did it incidentally. Just keep moving, roundy round. I like to shoot the middle. Eventually one of these pieces will break off. It took me a very long time to figure out what to do with this boss. I didn't understand it at the very first, but now that I do, I still have yet to defeat him. But it's only a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get him. That's what we do. You think I'm gonna bitch out? You think, I, you think I'm just gonna roll over and die? Just like that? Not today, son. Not today. But yeah. There we shot one piece off. The rhythm of this boss is relatively easy to, uh, to deal with. Once you got it. Once you got it, you can get it. And now we've got some more pieces breaking off. Super duper. I gotta go around a little more. Just uh, plug them. Plug them real good. Alright, we're making progress. Something's happening, you guys! I gotta let my weapon cool down. I don't see like a meter or anything for the, the heat measurement of the weapon. Oh, it's on the left of the reticule. Clever! I guess I'm also blind after an hour to not notice that until I point it out to myself. Yeah. I, I never claim to be smart, okay? I never claim to be good at video games. I just play them a lot. But that shit inside Spheros looks so cool. It's like a awesome space, space simulator or something. I did get zapped in the face just a little bit. It's starting to spin slightly faster, and I got zapped in the face again. Alright, let's just try and do a good thing, okay? If we could not die, that would be awesome. I'm gonna get extremely dizzy from this eventually. Alright. More shooties. Oh god. Oh god, get me out! Get me out! I'm dying! Holy god. I don't know how I got knocked into that pit. If it was one of the uh, the shooty things, or if I just wasn't paying close enough attention to where I was walking. But yeah, we're so close to this. I want to get it done. 320? Oh god. My palms are sweaty. Vomit on a sweater already. Mom spaghetti! Come on. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah! First time I ever beat that boss. So, uh, what do I do now? Oh, hyper coins. Weapon attachment. Rocket swords? What the fuck is a rocket sword, dude? Crunch time attachment. It's like a laser gun now? Okay. A little bit of health. Compensator attachment. A little bit of bits. Alright. We out. Just getting started. Hooray! You beat level one! The very first boss! That's so nice. Look at my gun. If you press C, you can turn it to the side like that. And, uh, have a look at it. Which, obviously, that's the most important part of the game. 
If you're gonna make an awesome hyper gun, you gotta you gotta have a look at it. You gotta know what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go up here. I haven't seen any of these levels before, so uh, hopefully I'm not gonna fail too hard. But you never know. Bless, bless, bless. Coffee. Aha! Suck a motherfucker. Oops. I fall down. It seems uh, the same sorts of enemies. Except for that fucking thing. What is that? Giant blob monster? And I dipped past the flamethrowers. Luckily. I think I just have to run these things through the flamethrowers. Of course, the blob monsters split into uh, baby blob monsters. That makes good sense. Oh, God. Oh, jump across. Can't get me now. Alright, I just need to pick them off. Pick them off, one by one. Are you dead? He's dead. Don't worry about it, everybody. I'm all over it. Oh, what is this rocket sword thing? I guess I should save it. Rocket swords are like on my hotbar now. I thought it was an attachment for the gun. But, uh, we'll need to see. Go ahead. Use the rocket sword. It didn't work at all. Nothing went well. It's probably the part that confuses me the most. Give me these items that I don't know what to do with. Alright, that's fine. We'll take it nice and slow. We'll take it easy, beezy. Breezy. Oh boy. At least there's no fall damage. <laughs> I can't seem to uh, keep my bearings. Was that damage from fire? I think it was. Blap, blap, blap. One more? Alright, I can do that. Oh my god, they're coming. They're everywhere. How did this happen? That's fine. You can't hang. Can't hang. Not even close. Alright, so I guess we're hitting this door. Why not? I'm most eager to see the, uh, the second boss. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, I just got wrecked by the fucking shield guy and like a mage. I don't know what that thing is. He is mean. Wow. Well, we learned something, didn't we? And that's how most of these roguelikes are. They're like, okay. You took your first step into the, uh, the second level and you got completely raped, but... Next time, you're going to know what to do, right? And I say, I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> Let's pray. Pray for a miracle. Oh boy. Shoot him in the feet. How did my damage go down with all of these fucking attachments? That doesn't seem fair, does it? I was doing 8 damage per shot. Now I'm doing 7. Maybe I am firing faster or something like that. Oh god, I got hit by the fire. It's almost over. It's almost over for me. Did that guy die? Oh god, he definitely didn't. Definitely did not die. Alright, now we're just hanging out. Under the boardwalk. Under the boardwalk. Alright. Shit, shit, shit. Gotta plug this mage. Alright, he's not too bad. He's gotta back up when he's ready to cast his little his little spells. He's like, ooh, I got I cast a spell. I cast magic missile. 1d6. Oh. That's it. Cause of death, mage. Look at that skeleton mage. What an asshole! But yeah, you do get new uh characters or new enemies rather as you progress through the stages, which I think is pretty cool. Makes me thirsty to see the uh, the third stage and also the second level boss, but I guess it'll have to wait for a little while. 129 kills, 128 critical hits. That is a shit ton. I got eight hyper coins, so 
That's really nice, now that I know how to defeat that first level boss. And I set records as far as attachments and stuff like that goes. So, pretty cool. I'm liking that a lot. Uh, we'll progress a little further the next time. If you want to see some more of Hypergun, let me know. Because I really like this game. I'm going to leave it installed on my computer so I can bring you more at my leisure or if there's a demand for it. Anyways, friends. I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, this has been Hypergun. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Perhaps we'll have uh, one of these characters unlocked next time around. And that would be a nice change up. Uh, we've got links in the description to click at your leisure. We've got Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you'd like to support me on any of those, that would be massively, massively appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to Nico the Legend and MMX Akira for supporting us currently. Those boys, they're, they're just awesome. What else can you really say about that? To them, also, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, there's six levels that we need to get through, and uh, I'm basically only breaching level two. So, long way to go on Hypergun. A lot of replay value here. Check out the link to the, the Steam page. if it, you, It's like a game that you would want for yourself. Or a friend. Anyways, I've rambled quite enough. Once again, friends, this has been Hypergun. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. <laughs>